Since the end of World War II, when the first nuclear bombs were dropped, wreaking havoc and destruction on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, eight other countries have acquired nuclear bombs. But there have been no nuclear attacks for over 70 years. Are the weapons built to kill and destroy on a mass scale actually serving to pacify? Or are tensions between nuclear nations bringing us closer to nuclear annihilation? North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. The forthcoming measures by DPRK will make the U.S. suffer the great pain it's never experienced in its history. Nuclear deterrence. It's the idea that countries with nuclear weapons won't go to war with each other because of mutual assured destruction. It has the word terror inside it, right? Deterrence, that's what it's about, is you scare somebody away from doing something you don't want them to do by making them fear the consequences. Some argue that more nuclear weapons may be better for stability as weapons for peace rather than war. Despite there being over 15,000 nuclear weapons in the world, there's never been a nuclear war, although some say North Korea and the United States are close. Almost all countries with nuclear weapons are modernizing them, raising questions about whether the world is heading towards a nuclear arms race. People have been accepting nuclear weapons as legitimate tools for providing security for, you know, 70 years now. And we're trying to change the mindset, really, that it's not acceptable to threaten to level an entire city um, just to keep yourself secure. The presence of nuclear weapons doesn't guarantee safety. History has shown that those who do not have large atomic arsenals are not always deterred by those who do. In 1950, China sent its armies to attack U.S. military forces in the Korean War. America's nuclear weapons didn't deter the 9-11 terrorist attacks. And despite India and Pakistan acquiring nuclear weapons, war erupted between the two neighbors in 1999. So are nuclear weapons the answer to peace? The theory of nuclear deterrence assumes those who possess them will act rationally. A premise that could be disproved with the flick of a switch.